Look at these two little angels next to me. These are Sadie's pups. This is Puddle. Look at that tail, Puddle. And this is Moose. Making his little noises. He's so sweet. Yes. Two sweet boys. Hey guys, so today I'm going to the Arizona Diamondbacks spring training game. It's actually my birthday gift to Chris. He's going with me. I love this hat though. Can you see like the sequins? You'll see in the light later. So confession time. <laughs> I went to the Dodgers spring training, which was so much fun. I just love baseball, you guys. Um, but my teams are the Diamondbacks because I live in Arizona, folks. <laughs> so the Diamondbacks... Um, are my main team, but I also love the Yankees. And I know some of you are gonna majorly hate on me for it, but I don't care because when you love your team, you don't care what kind of hate you're gonna get. Um, you know, I'm originally from Jersey and my dad is a huge Yankees fan. He has a whole basement full of memorabilia, or he used to, he moved to Florida now, but um, so yeah, I'm both the Yankees and a Diamondbacks fan, and I've never been to spring training for Diamondbacks. So after going to the Dodgers spring training, which was so much fun, um, I was talking about it with Chris, and he's like, yeah, I really want to go too, so we're going to go for his birthday present. I don't have any um, lipstick on yet, um, but I do have some hoops on. have my hair down this time. It's supposed to be a really beautiful day out, and I have the new Diamondbacks colors on, the black and red. If you've been a Diamondbacks fan for a while, then you know that used to be purple and turquoise. I still have some stuff that has that, that coloring, but I wanted to wear the new colors today. So I just have to get sneakers on, get my backpack all set for the game, and I'm really How excited. How in the world did you get up there, huh? How'd you get up there? It's a really high jump. I'm pretty impressed. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and we're about to go into our Mary Kay meeting. I'm with Mama V. What's that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really sure what that was. This morning I forgot to apply mascara, so I had to go to Walgreens and get a new mascara. Yes, That's annoying. Thank you. She's saying thank you because she had to drive there. She first. had a she had a conipsic thing. A what a? You know, a conipsit. Okay. She wants to say another word, but Yeah, she's but being I don't good. want to say it on the blog. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to say a quick guy. Alright guys, we're having our favorite. What is this called again? Santa Fe salad? Santa Fe salad. salad. I got extra avocado because I don't have chicken. And I got mine. chicken. There's Mama B. <laughs> she always says that face is funny. So yeah. And you're like, oh, this is just a bunch of blankets, right? Do you see that little body right there? Someone caved himself into these blankets. <laughs> Here's the other one. Big little moosey. I mean, what a beauty. I love when you get a perfect avocado. This is pretty dang perfect. I used half to make some avocado toast for this morning. So good. And then I do have um, my Dopio iced espresso. Double shot over ice with some, I think it's, yeah, two pumps white mocha and two espresso shots. So that's my breakfast. This it came in the mail. You guys, this is my first Urban Decay PR package ever. And I'm really shocked. I'm not even sure how they got my info because they didn't contact me. So I'm not sure, but this looks like a little match packet, right? <laughs> Doesn't it look like... um matches and hold on i'm gonna open this try and open it one-handed and it's not working so great there we go this is hello hot stuff this is one hot palette here is and the see how it lo looks like little matches so this is the naked petite heat i actually don't even have the heat palette um the naked heat palette but this is super cute packaging 
And look at these colors. I'm totally gonna use this today. I'm really excited. So thank you so much to Urban Decay. So I decided to try out the Petite Heat Palette from Urban Decay on my eyes today and I think it's really pretty. I love the shades. So I used all three of the lighter ones and then the second darkest one, I think that's on your left. Yeah, I like it. I did use a little bit of Steel a Kitten in the inner corners because there's no really like brighter highlight. And then I used this Becca highlight palette today for my cheeks. And I just felt like trying out new products. <laughs> um, I've been having fun with my Mary Kay, don't get me wrong, but I still love trying everything out that is sent to me. So Flower Beauty sent a bunch of lip products out to me. So I have that lip color on in Coral Crush. And then I have this lip bling on from Tarte over the top of it. That's why it's a little glossier and sparkly. And this is in the shade High Standards. So yeah, I tried a bunch of new makeup on today. But my face, again, like my face makeup is still my Mary Kay CC cream. Look, I am almost out of my CC cream. But I wear it every single day. So I have that on. I have the Mary Kay primer on. The bronzer. Mascara. Lash intensity from them. The liner, I'm actually using this L'Oreal Infallible Skinny Liner right now for the liquid liner and brows. I'm still loving and using the new um, brow pencil from the bomb ferocious in dark brown. All right, that's it for now. All right guys, I'm walking in to get my nails done because look at this, they are so grown out and it's horrible. I'm gonna get something really like Easter and pastel. At least that's the idea of what I'm gonna go for. So I'll show you after. Look how stinking cute you guys. <laughs> so um, the lavender color is called Lovely Lavender by D&D &D Gel. And then I did these little flowers for spring. Actually, I think I like this hand better. Yeah. You know how you don't just like the design better sometimes on one side. But they're little flowers. They're so cute. So I'm outside right now waiting for the pups to go to the bathroom. I have to watch them because there's kind of like a puddle situation going on right there um, that they like to get messy in. Don't pay attention to the mess behind me. Um, so just did some stuff for my business, for my Mary Kay. And I went to Pandora today because of the new Shine collection and all the honeybee stuff. And so many of you have been um, Instagram messaging me, Snapchatting me, making comments on my YouTube, tweeting me, like everything about this collection because it's literally made for me. Everything is honeycomb and honeybees and amazing. So what I didn't know is some of the items are limited edition. The specifically, there was a ring that has a little bee on it and it looks like kind of honeycomb pattern. And then there's a choker and a bracelet as well, all limited edition. I just wanted the ring. I didn't need all the rest of that. I went to Pandora today specifically for that. Sorry, this lighting is really harsh. Um, specifically for that, they didn't have it. In fact, it's so limited edition that only one store in Seattle and one store in Hollywood has them. They're sold out online. I was ticked. <laughs> but luckily, I have an amazing, and amazing, amazing friend in Seattle that I told her the store it was at and she is helping me. I'm paying her, but she is helping me to get that and ship it out to me. And I'm very, 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 very thankful. So thank you, Emily, if you're watching. But I am gonna show you that I did end up getting the new Shine bracelet and a few different charms that I do not believe they are limited edition except for one 
item on here, but I will show you. So here are my charms. That first one actually has a really beautiful, I think it's tiger eye stone inside. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. Then it has little bling gems on it and then that little bee is a separate piece and it looks like a honeycomb. It has some gems on the top there too. Like, then we have the one that looks like honey is so stinking cool. That one is definitely not limited edition and I would really like to get more than one of those as my bracelet grows and then this bee, it's not actually not a charm, it's a pendant, but you can use it as a necklace or a charm, and I chose to use it as a charm, and it's so beautiful. Super small grocery haul, so I just remember that I need to make some cookies for my friend Donna's baby shower. So I ran out to get some eggs and some morsels because I had everything else to make the cookies. So since I went, went to the grocery store, I picked up a few other things that I needed. Some avocado, a lemon, some natural bliss um, coffee creamer. Um, this is the hazelnut flavor. I got some Unstoppable. These are the Downy Unstoppable scent booster and the shimmer scent. It smells so good. Makes your laundry smell amazing. It was on sale too, that's why I picked it up. Garbanzo beans, the organic, Simple Truth Organic. These were a dollar a piece, so I got three of those. Some bananas and some Dave Killer's Thin Sliced Bread. 70 calories, I think for two slices. Or might have been per slice, let's see. One slice. It's really good though. And has, see all those yummy grains in there? Oh yeah. Okay, I need to start making these cookies. Here is the yummy cookie dough I made. I'm about to make the chocolate chip cookies. I also made pumpkin cookies. These I've talked about before. It's literally just two ingredients, a can of pumpkin, fresh pumpkin, no sugar added, and then a box of spice cake mix, and you bake at 350. I actually baked them at 375 today because I had to bake these at 375. So usually it's um, at 350 for 12 to 15 minutes. I did these at 375 for 10 minutes and they turned out just as good. And my family loves these, so I'm gonna bring them to my parents since I figured since I was already baking, might as well. All right, I'm done with the cookies and their cute little thank you wrappers for my friend's baby shower. Guys, I almost forgot to vlog. As you can see, I started eating already, but we're at Mod Pizza and I got jalapenos and mushrooms on mine. Mama Bee is here too. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so I have a few PR packages I want to share with you guys from this week. So the first one is from Pixie Beauty. And these are three influencers that collaborated with Pixie. So we have Chloe Morello and she has this palette with some blushes, a highlight, and some shadows, and a lip icing. And then Dolce Candy, she has this like highlight and eyeshadow palette. It looks like you can use it for either. And a lip palette. And then we have the Dimensional Eye Creator Kit with a liquid, actually it's a dual liner. So look how cute the packaging came. So it came like this. And you flip it up. Super cute, I cannot wait to try this palette, especially because I've heard great things. And then I did get a package from L'Oreal. So this first layer, these are hair sheet masks. I'm very curious about that. I don't think I've ever used, I think I've used a hair sheet mask once and I wasn't that impressed, but I've never, I never used the L'Oreal ones. These are definitely new. So good, nice hair treatments. And then look at all these goodies. So we have an age perfecting cell renewal, rosy tone mask. And it reminds me of the Peter Thomas Roth rose product line that's going on right now. I think that's kind of going off of that. We have the Elnat Satin Hairspray. This is the extra strong. I know this is holy grail for a lot of people, but I don't like the smell of this hairspray. I know it works really well, but I can't stand the smell. <laughs> then there are these three brow stylists. So these are great for sculpting the brows. And then we have this Visible Lift Luminous Serum Tint Foundation. I'll for sure have to try this out for you guys. I am most excited about these. These are new infallible primers and there's a matte and they glow. For sure I'm gonna like the matte, I know that. But if the glow is not too intense, I might. And then we have some brow, new brow products. Brow Stylist Boost and Set Volumizing Brow Mascara. I'm always up for trying new brow stuff, so awesome. And then this is kind of hilarious. <laughs> 
only because I was just talking about this mask last week, and this is the mask I was talking about, you guys, that's $69 usually. They actually reduce the cost a little bit. So this was the size I was talking about. It's 1.7 ounces, and it used to go for 69. It's now going for 59. They reduced it by $10. Um, still expensive, <laughs> but anyways. Um, this is the one I was talking about, the clearing treatment that does the same thing as my $24 mask from Mary Kay, that's four ounces. So ironically, or coincidentally, they ended up sending me all this glam glow after I talked about it last week. So this little miniature one, which is only 0.5 ounces, I believe. So I probably could get mm, maybe four or five uses out of the small one. This goes for $24. So that's what I'm talking about, guys. Like I can either use this very small little one for $24, get the same results. The ingredients are not as pure and I'm not trying to hate on Glam Glow, I'm really not. I used to love, love, love this mask. But it just doesn't make sense for me to purchase something like this size anymore when I can get a four ounce amazing mask that does the same thing. But anyways, to each their own. And they do have a new mega size of the Super Mud and that goes for, 79 yeah 79 and that's 100 grams which i believe is is it two ounces oh 3.5 ounces so this is close to the size of my um charcoal mask that i was talking about last week from mary Kay, but 79 dollars. so literally almost triple the price <laughs> So anyways, I'll probably put these in giveaways, to be honest, because it is a great mask, and I, you know, I'd be happy to share it with you guys, but I'm not going to use it. So that is what I got. Not saying I'm not thankful. I am. Just saying that I'm being realistic. <laughs> Thank you so much to these brands for sending these. Getting ready. I've been watching Nashville. Who else likes Nashville? This is season two. So I just got started getting ready, did my makeup at least for career conference today. Um, today is the start of career conference, which is like um, a conference, a Mary Kay conference that happens once a year and then seminar later in the year. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for it. After going to Million Dollar Weekend and getting a taste of what is to come with career conference, I cannot wait. Um, so of course I will be going with my mom because she's also of our Mary Kay and then a couple um, people from my team as well so it should be a lot of fun I still need to get dressed and do my hair but just thought I'd show you my makeup I tried something new with my highlight today I did I like set my face and then I did my highlight to see if it would pop a little bit more and it did a little bit I like it if you're wondering what's on my lips, it's Retzina. Well, at least for now, I'm going to change to one of my Mary Kay lipsticks probably later, but this was right in my drawer. So I put Retzina on from Bite Beauty and then this, oh, I almost dropped it. This MAC lip gloss in Flare for Finery. You can see it's about down to here. It's a beautiful, beautiful gloss. Um... I'm really trying to use up a lot of my makeup, like I told you guys before. So I keep pulling out different lipsticks and glosses that I haven't been using and trying them out and actually using them. What a concept. All right, guys, so I am all set for a career conference. So it is from Kohl's. It's the L collection. You can see it has these little pleatings in the front here. It has this little tie. I was really looking for a black or pink belt, but I could not find one in time. But when I wear this again, that's what I plan to wear. I also curled my hair and I'm gonna probably put on my pink, my long pink jacket with this. And I need to put on my shoes still too, but just thought I'd quickly say hi before we are off to the convention. I have these little pearl earrings on. I'm gonna put my bracelets on in a second too. everyone it's Saturday I'm here with mama B hello she's looking very beautiful with her new shirt right yeah uh, yeah <laughs> um, you guys have seen this dress so I didn't show you earlier I was kind of rushing too so it's from Kohl's um, we're off to career conference day two 
and today's gonna be more of like some trainings and I get to go to the VIP luncheon because you had to like you had to have specific things done to make it to the VIP luncheon so I'm going with my recruit Christy so I'm excited about that and hopefully we'll get some really good information today and get really inspired um, you know to get going do, do good I can't talk this morning I'm really tired it's probably apparent by my eyes because mom and me walked in this morning and she's like you look tired <laughs> I'm like I am because I actually started editing the vlog last night oh, oh you're wearing the earrings they look so pretty on you I'm not wearing something that can have red with it though um, our director gave us these really pretty red earrings they look like Kate Spade. Are they Kate Spade? I don't know. I didn't say. They look like the ones I have. Like, they look like this style, but red. Yeah. They could um, be. Anyways, we are off to that right now, and I'll talk to you guys later. So I am now home from career conference. Um, I already changed into comfy clothes because I just wanted to get out of my <laughs> stockings and dress as soon as possible, but I had a really great time. I'm glad that I was there with my team and celebrating each other and getting to learn some great information from amazing national sales directors and million dollar sales directors and like our top in the, in the business pretty much. So it was really awesome to hear from them and get some great ideas from them. I took lots of notes. So overall it was a successful day. And now I'm just going to edit this vlog and I'm gonna be seeing Chris later tonight. So I'm just gonna relax. And before I go, I wanna talk about my Mary Kay product of the week because I promised you guys I would talk about one of my favorites every week. So this week I wanna talk about the TimeWise Firming Eye Cream. This does have a pump which I really appreciate. I just love having packaging in a pump or in a squeezy tube, which most of our products are, so that you don't have to dig your hands into products and it's not a sanitary. Um, the reason I love this eye cream is that it does help with fine lines and wrinkles, and I turned 30 last year, so I am more concerned about that <laughs> and making sure to keep that area looking nice and smooth. Um, it does help with firmness, depuffing, and brightening of the under eye. So I especially love to use this in the morning. And what I'll do is I'll do my morning routine. I'll let all my skincare kind of set in. So I'll do it first, maybe go make a cup of coffee or maybe have breakfast. That's very rare. I never have breakfast. Um, or just maybe get dressed or do something else while that kind of settles in. Give it just a few minutes. It doesn't have to be a long time um, before you put your makeup on because it will help to, you'll see that difference in the deep puffing and the brightness factor for under your eyes. So this stuff is awesome. And I have used, you guys know, I've used so many different eye creams. This is the first eye cream I've used morning and night. And I feel like it does a good enough job for morning and night. Um, so it lasts about three months if you're using it morning and night. Um, and you can put this all the way around the orbital bone too, and even if you have sensitivity. So I will make sure to leave this link down below if you're curious. Again, I just wanna say, I know I'm saying this every single week, but I appreciate you guys so much for supporting my business and being curious about Mary Kay and asking me questions and being willing to purchase products from me and, and be excited about it just like I am. So thank you so much. And I will repeat again, even if you don't live in Arizona, you can purchase products from me from anywhere in the United States through my website, or you can contact me directly and I can make an order for you if you do not already have a Mary Kay consultant, that is. Um, I would be happy to help you. Also, if you're interested in the Mary Kay opportunity and you have questions about it, or you want to possibly sign up with me and be a part of my team, I have three amazing team members right now and I'm so excited to say that um, but if you're curious about it or you want more information or you just want to sign up make sure to contact me through email um, I always have my email linked down below as well so you can contact me through there or on my website it does have a phone number where you can text me and I will get right back to you all right guys I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and week ahead and I'll see you again next week mm -hmm.